Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Wednesday, April 10th. A few months ago, Tesla unveiled Optimus Gen 2, a new generation of its humanoid robot that should be able to take over repetitive tasks from humans. The new prototype showed a lot of improvements compared to the previously underwhelming version of the robot, and it gave some credibility to the project too. Through the Gen 2 video that was released a few months back, we were able to see much improved hand dexterity, with the robot shown to be handling an egg. One of the main changes with the Optimus Gen 2 is that Tesla is now using its own custom actuators to power the robot's limbs. One particularly interesting Optimus pattern relates to the robot's hands, titled under-actuated hand with cable-driven fingers. Right now, there's no clear timeline for Tesla to bring the robot to production, but clearly they haven't forgotten about this project. Now, should we be expecting a production-ready humanoid robot anytime soon? Well, we are seeing some improvements in sign of commitment, but like many other projects, it's hard to take Elon's word when it comes to timelines as he did say in 2022 that it could go into production as soon as 2023. Elon Musk is rumored to be going to India this month, which is sparking speculation of an announcement about building a Tesla factory in the country. Tesla has been trying to get into the Indian automotive market for years, but it wasn't able to find a way around the country's high import duties on vehicles. The Indian government wanted Tesla to build a factory in the country, but the automaker preferred to first establish a market in the country through imported vehicles before investing in a manufacturing facility in the country. Last month, India finally came up with a compromise on its import duties on cars to open the doors for Tesla and other EV automakers to launch in the country. The deal greatly reduces import duties for a limited number of electric vehicles as long as the automaker makes a significant investment and commitment to build an electric vehicle factory in India. Musk is going to visit Prime Minister Narendra Modi later this month and is expected to announce plans to invest and open a new factory. To take advantage of the new program, Tesla will need to make a minimum investment of $500 million into an EV manufacturing facility in India within three years. A teardown of the Cybertruck surprisingly showed that the battery pack is half empty. At 123 kilowatt hours, the Cybertruck has the smallest energy capacity of any electric pickup. Tesla has often been able to get over this through great efficiency. However, buyers have been disappointed in Cybertruck's range. But now, a half-empty battery pack makes this complex situation even more interesting. During Monroe's Cybertruck teardown, the company opened the battery pack to reveal a lot of space between the 4680 cells and the top plate. Engineers pointed out that it was basically half-empty, and Cybertruck lead engineer Wes Morrill confirmed it by saying that he prefers to think of it as half-full. So why is the Cybertruck's battery pack half-empty? Tesla could be planning to put another layer of cells and double the energy capacity of the battery pack. It might also be a cost or production constraint. This summer, drivers of the Ionic 5N will navigate to the elevated summit of Pikes Peak International Hill Climb in hopes of setting a new record for the segment. The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is an annual event held in Colorado Springs. Vehicles from all around the world compete to earn the fastest climb time by winding through 156 turns around a 12.4 mile route that climbs 4,725 feet to an altitude over 14,000 feet above sea level. In recent years, Pikes Peak has become a proving ground for automakers looking to tout their new EV technology. Hyundai plans to return to Pikes Peak with four race cars after a 14 year hiatus from the annual event. Two of the vehicles competing will be Ionic 5 and EVs, utilizing their standard 640. 41 horsepower to try and capture a record climb time. The vehicles are virtually unmodified from their production version aside from some safety requirements and feature the same powertrain and battery. The Hyundai N team wants to deliver a climb time that's going to be tough to beat in the coming years. There will be plenty of excitement around a growing segment in electric performance vehicles. You can tune into the event on June 23rd. Geely released images today of the car edition of its Panda Mini EV. The four-seater car is the newest member of the Geely's Panda family. It's certainly small at 3.1 meters in length, but it can still fit four passengers. Geely has ramped up the sporty cuteness of its latest Panda to capture the youth market. The Panda car features a sporty top tail wing and a rear 30 kilowatt motor. Geely hasn't revealed the battery specs and there's no price on the car yet, but its sister model, the Panda Mini, is $5,500.
In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that it's interesting to see BMW partner with Rimac since they are not an established high volume supplier. While this decision could have been motivated by supply chain considerations, as well as by the high performance that Rimac delivers. Either way, it reflects a major commitment for BMW's future. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.